Hi there, how are you? And welcome to Full Scope. What is Full Scope? Uh, is probably what you're wondering. Full Scope is, it's called fullscope.tv, is an analytic and marketing tool for Periscope. It allows you to capture your broadcast data and, ten, and then to look at that data and determine um, how you can change your broadcast based on what people are doing. It's a one-of-a-kind tool, and it's yours right now. You can come on through and pick it up. My name is Casey Zeman. I'm the founder of Fullscope.tv. Um, I'm also the founder of a couple of different pieces of software and training. One other of the pieces of software that I am the founder of is Easy Webinar with 5,500 customers. And I created Fullscope.tv because there was a, uh, a need in the marketplace for analytics and a marketing engine for Periscope. Now, full scope is going to be changing and evolving over time. Right now, though, you can capture and see all of your broadcast data. So what that means is essentially you can come in and on, a, on both a kind of an overview level, see what all of your broadcasts are doing. And so right now you see that we are, we see a graph in front of us. Okay. And this may change based on when you come into fullscope.tv. Um, you can see the overview of all of your broadcasts. This is, these are my broadcasts over the last month or so. I can decide to see only, say, specific broadcasts over a period of time. So I can check out uh, the broadcast that happened in the last month, let's say, from the November 1st to December 1st. I could do that. It will show me all the broadcasts, uh, and it will show me them for various categories such as how many viewers I had as you can see here uh, the engagement ranking okay we have a ranking score that we provide and give that will tell you who your most engaged broadcasters who, who your most engaged viewers are and what broadcasts are doing the best right you can hover over and you can see that's how many hearts live share counts replays comments so you can get you can see all the data from just hovering over um, you can also see the average viewing time you can also see hearts shares and this is on an overview um, kind of holistic look now you can also based on the time that you select here determine who your most engaged viewers are and we'll give scores to them so we'll give them a um, gold ribbon silver ribbon and bronze ribbon based on your top engaged viewers so leanne is my top Kirk and then David, and you can see your top frequent viewers as well. Kirk is the most frequent, Leanne, and then David as well. Oh, you click on it, and it'll actually bring you right into their uh, Twitter accounts. Top viewers by hearts, you can see here. Top viewers by comments. Top viewers by shares. Top viewers by screenshots as well, okay? And this is kind of on an overview when you decide to select the maybe a time uh, between uh, you know a, a date selection now that's one way to do it the other thing is you can drill down even deeper and actually start looking at your broadcasts so right now we are kind of looking at what we just saw but more on a list type of thing right before it was via the graph now it's on a list so if I wanted to select say what happened in the last month like Let's say I were to select November 1st through December 1st, sort by descending, and I wanted to sort by, let's say, uh, the most engaged. I'll put engagement ranking. I'll load that, and it will show me my most engaged broadcasts over the last month, right? I can also change this to any of these different filters. So if I want to see my top comments, I can load that. And it'll show me my top comments, the top broadcast that had the most comments, the top broadcast that had the most hearts, okay, load, the top comments that had the most screenshots, load, okay. Now, not only can I do that, but I can also go even deeper with this, okay, and I can then look at the actual broadcast itself and see what that broadcast uh, did specifically. So I can see all the viewers on that broadcast. Uh, I can also see and, and find out the specific um, actions that these viewers took. So for instance, if I wanted to find out my overall engaged viewers on this particular broadcast, I would go from descending to ascending, okay? And it would show me who my most engaged 
overall viewers were. Now, if I wanted to go with just the live viewers, I could do that and see who they were. What we've also done is we've, we've also shown when um, the follower is new. Uh, so now you know if you have a brand new follower or not, right? So these are added followers after this broadcast, right? So you can see, okay, these are new broadcasts or new followers uh, from the broadcast, right? That's how you can see that. Uh, you can also see when they say leave a comment and when they ask for the comment. So you can go through here and you, you can see when they timestamp the comment. So any comment you can respond to um, as well. You can kind of see all the comments from specific people, but you can also go in and show comment chat history uh, and see uh, what happens with the comments in order of when they come in. So you can also do this and then download it and you can still get the timestamp as well. I can hide that chat. You can also, as I said, filter out different things such as, you know, percentage of time watch. If you want to know who stayed the longest, um, this person, baby Christian stayed the longest for this particular broadcast. She watched 65% of it. Okay. Uh, she joined and, and left it like in an hour or and a half. So she stayed the longest. Uh, now, for instance, I can also do like who sent the most hearts, right? And this is really good because then you can also do, um, contests, right? You can actually run contests like heart contests to say, okay, well, keto was the one that just did the most hearts. He also became a new, um, follower at this time, uh, which is awesome. So now I can, uh, add, you know, I can say, okay, well, thanks for becoming a new follower keto and you win the heart contest. Now he only stayed, this person only stayed for 17% of the event. So when we rank the engagement, you see engagement scores are not based on how long someone or, uh, hearts or things like that, you know, screenshots, comments, they're more based on, this is how they're done. The length of time is, is, has the most weight, followed by shares, followed by screenshots, then followed by comments, and then followed by hearts. So we don't, in, we don't use hearts as the top engagement barometer. Hearts are kind of at the bottom of the list when it comes to the top engagement because this person only stayed 17% of the actual event, right? Essentially, they stayed, you know, uh, well, they stayed tw 21 minutes, which is great. But in the overall scheme of things, other people stayed longer. You know what I mean? So that's why they have a higher engagement score. So you could do hearts. You could also do um, shares if you wanted to do, um, you, you do contests based on shares right here, right? And so what if you have two people that both shared, you know, two, you have people that only shared twice, all these people shared twice. So when I do this, normally I go based on the engagement score, right? More so than, you know, the shares, right? Uh, so there's that. There's also comments. You can see the people that asked the top comments. So uh, this person asked the most comments, followed by Jennifer, followed by Absolute Andre, and so on and so forth, right? So you can see all of these comments. Uh, you can click there. You can also see where they shared. So they shared on Twitter. You know, you, as I said, you can see the, see the hearts joined. You can also see up here, if you look at the follower data, you can see how many people were added on the broadcast as new followers and how many people have been added since this broadcast happened, okay, um, up until now. So right now, since this broadcast occurred, I've added since then 1,300 more people into as followers from when this broadcast was done, which was earlier in the month. Now, I can also comment and tweet these people directly, right? So here you see here, I click here and it will allow me to tweet them directly right from the dashboard of full scope. Not only that, now that's this is the coolest part because this allows you to have engagement with those people that are coming in. You have call to action and can reply directly. Very, very cool stuff. It allows you to stay with your person. Uh, so it's a, almost like a combination of almost something like Hootsuite and analytics combined because now you can have you or your uh, virtual assistant or your social media manager come in and actually engage with these people who were your top folks. But you can also do things like check out the people who were not your top folks. So if you wanted to say overall engagement, or actually this is what I would do, uh, percentage of time watched, and I wanted to see the people that 
watched the least, I see all of these folks who watched the least. What I could do is send them out uh, quick messages saying, hey, I could say, hey, you know, at username, looks like you missed when I mentioned about my webinar course. Click here to get access to it for free. And then what I can do is I can go in and add a, say, bit.ly link, which is right here. I can grab this, copy, and I can send this out directly to her, right? So I can add this in, tweet that out, and then it will send off to that person the the offer or link that I that I mentioned that this person may have missed because they only watched they watched very little. The last thing what we that we do is we actually will house your broadcast video for you. So once your broadcast is over with Periscope, it is gone after 24 hours. But with our software, we capture it and we then will allow you to hold on to it and you can download it and add it to any of your marketing. So you can upload it to YouTube, Vimeo, Plus, whatever you wanna upload it to and use it in a membership site area, whatever you'd like, we will house it for you, okay? All you have to do is click the download. Something super special that I'm announcing today. Okay. We also tell you how long your live broadcast was, how uh, it is performing, so the average time on a live they watch versus on a replay. So as you can see, people are staying longer for the replay than on the live. Broadcasts, as I said, the broadcast followers that are added since the broadcast. How many people watch the replay or rather hearts on the replay, hearts on the live. Comments, um, who watched live versus replay and shares. So all of this is what you get with fullscope.tv. You not only get the overview information, you also get who your most engaged people are over a specific date range that you select, and you could drill down even deeper to look at the list of your broadcasts, as well as jumping straight in to the specific broadcast to talk and see what your viewers are doing and who's coming and things like that, okay? So please enjoy this software. Uh, we're going to be changing it and evolving it many, many times over. So once you come to it, it might be a little slightly different than what it shows now, but it is a really, really great tool to have in your toolkit if you are using Periscope for marketing your business. So I just want to say thanks again. You can go to fullscope.tv to sign up or go directly to app.fullscope.tv and we will see you on the inside. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.